This is my review of two new tripods from Benro, the Aero 2 and the Aero 4, lightweight, portable, video focused tripods. Now, as I found myself out in various locations more and more frequently making videos for this channel, I've been increasingly frustrated with my photo tripods. As a photographer, those are the tripods I have, and when I need to do serious video work, they aren't great. But I've been reluctant to shell out the big bucks for a serious video tripod simply because they weigh a ton and or they're very expensive. And the ones that are very lightweight are often very cheap and don't have good fluid heads and don't provide the stability that I'm looking for. But I can say that these two new tripods from Benro very nicely give me some awesome options for portable video work. They achieve their portability through a trick that a lot of tripods are using these days and that is that the legs fold up against the body. So you can extend the center column up, flip the legs, reverse the legs. The Benro Aero 2 folds down to 18.3 inches, weighs about 4 pounds, and supports just over 5 pounds. The Benro Aero 4 folds down to 21.7 inches, weighs 5.8 pounds, and supports just over 8 pounds. Both of them get just over 50 inches tall. At the bottom of each of the tripods is a little rubber foot that can be screwed to expose a nice metal spike for extra grip. The legs are independently adjustable with three different locking points. That gives you a lot of flexibility when setting up on very uneven ground to give yourself a stable base. That feature, coupled with the leveling head and the bubble level, gives you an easy way to create a very level platform that you can then engage the pan and tilt functions. Both heads are fluid and both heads are removable. So if you ever wanted to upgrade to a different head uh, or use this on another tripod, you could do so. On the Aero 2, you have the S2C head and I have found the fluid functions of that to be very smooth, very stable for both panning and tilting. The S4 gives you a bigger head and a benefit there is that you have an adjustable pan arm that can be moved to the left or right side or on both cases completely removed to give yourself a very compact head. They offer quick release plates with a little screw in the bottom that nicely works for coins. I really don't like the ones where you always have to remember to bring a tool along. Quick release heads that have a locking mechanism that keeps them from sliding forward and your camera falling off. Always a good thing. Now, one of my complaints, and I really only have two minor ones here, but this is something I've run into on other tripods as well, and that is if you don't carefully set up the locking position for the quick release plate before you slide your camera on, it's likely with some cameras that that's going to be in the way and you're not going to be able to lock your camera down tight until you take it back off, adjust so it's in the right location, slide it on, and then lock it down. My other complaint comes with a feature I haven't talked about yet, and that is the fact that this converts to a monopod when you want to travel even lighter. One of the legs has this nice foam pad. I really like that. It gives you a good gripping point when it's cold um, or just a little bit more comfortable to hold onto the tripod. That leg will actually completely unscrew along with the center column, unscrew the little rubber stopper at the bottom, which also has a hook that allows you to hook in your camera bag for extra weight and stability on the bottom of a tripod. And then you can screw those two together and have a very long monopod, or as some call it these days, a selfie stick. You know, with the S2, you certainly, that's lightweight enough that you could hold out there as a selfie stick. The S4 head is certainly getting more beefy, but works very nicely and you still have those fluid pan and tilt functions. My complaint though is the center column can be a little difficult to get back in. Don't force it, take your time, and make sure you've got it lined up correctly. Once you've done that, it's not bad, but if you're trying to do it very quickly, it can be a little bit of a hassle. The bottom line is that these are two portable lightweight video tripods that offer a full range of features without any sacrifices. If you find yourself out about shooting video, this is something you should consider. Thanks for watching this video. Reviews like this take time, and an easy way to thank me is to hit the like button Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And if you're considering buying these tripods, I recommend B&H for all of your camera gear. Links to buy these are right down below and I would appreciate it if you use them. If you got any questions, 
leave a comment. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.